is overrated, underrated artist right now. Right. Who's your overrated artist first, and then who's your underrated artist second, and why for both? All righty. So for my, uh, did you did you even say who you want to? Go? Oh yeah, you did say you want to go to the you want to go to the rap city shit. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Tripping. I was just throwing names out there. Smacked. But, Smacked. Um, yeah, I was just throwing names out there. So my um, overrated first. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear overrated first and why, and then you underrated second and why. All right, so the most overrated artist to me, and it's crazy because I actually kind of used to listen to him when I was, like, younger, and he kind of inspired me to want to rap. But, you know, as I grow up, his music just doesn't really right age now. that well. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to know, right now. Yeah, I'm talking about right now. All right. I'm, talking about, I'm just talking about of all time. Right. I thought we were talking of all time. You wrote this shit, and this says right now. Yeah, just, like, the most underrated, overrated ever. Right? So why would That's you say right doing? now? What you mean? You said RN. Like, it says overrated, underrated well, you, artists well, you right now. that topic. I did? I, yeah. You the one who, told, who recommended it. Oh, well, I, if it says right now, I mean right now. <laughs> so, like, out of the younger artists, we're doing 30 and under? That rap right now. If you did, People put out music right now. Like, LL but, cool. Okay, but what if he drops right now? He's just old. Yeah, Nas drops right now. He's old. Yeah, so, yeah, all right. So, yeah. I'm going with Eminem. Well, you can't say Tupac. Is that dropping right now? No, I'm going with Eminem. Oh, well, yeah, go ahead. Does yeah, he drop so, right now? Does he drop? He's yeah, still dropping? he just yeah. dropped the single with Polo G like yeah. last week. Then you can say Eminem. Yeah, yeah that's right yeah. now. But that's pretty much that's pretty much all the time. That's, that's, I, I thought we were just doing ever. Well, I mean, you can't say Biggie. He's not dropping right now. I lied. <laughs> I lied, obviously. Oh, I lied. I'm like, I lied, bro. I lied. <laughs> well, you can't say Lil John. Is he dropping right now? Yeah. He was about young too. Jo- is young Jock Rock dropping right now? <laughs> you can't say nah, young Jock. Hey, if I go broke like Jock, you can't that say like they, they gotta be they gotta be dropping music right now. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, I got Eminem. Uh, the reason why, uh, like I was saying, uh, when I was, you know, I used to listen to when I was younger. But as I've gotten older, like I kind of just matured past that. It's not. It just didn't really age well for me. And uh, that shit's ass. A lot of people call him the best rapper of all time, but like that I shit's don't, I don't, incorrect. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. The music just didn't age well for me. So that's my most overrated. And then underrated rapper. Shit, age like milk. Underrated rapper I have uh, right now, currently, I got Young Deji. Uh, I think he's fire. But if we want to go, just we just, this is just one, right? What the fuck was this shit that was, what was this shit called? We was trying to say it over and over again. What was this shit called? In something. You talking about his album? Yeah. What was oh, Enjoymenting. Enjoymenting. What the fuck? Did we ever figure out what the fuck this shit was called? Or meant, I think we say. broke it down. We broke it down. We broke it down. I gotta go check that out. I'm gonna go watch that episode. I wanna see what the fuck you enjoy yeah, minting we, we, we briefly jumped we briefly jumped into what the it. Fuck we, we, what we landed on with that. What the fuck is that shit? Well, mean? honestly honestly, now that we recording though, I'm gonna have to say myself. I think I'm the most underrated rapper right now. I feel it. So I, I can't even you know, I could give it to Deji, you know, we'll just say him for like singers, but I, mean, I gotta go with myself. I feel it. I feel Respectfully. the most the most overrated rapper in the world. Making music right now. Overrated, right? That's what I said. Overrated say. first, yeah. <sighs> Overrated. I got to go NBA young boy. I'm sorry. Like, Mr. Top, you got to come to the front of the building, big dog. Like, come to the stage. Like, y'all talking about why be better? All this all over my timeline. Why be better? Why be better? He barely hey, beat a man's why, fourth week. Why be week. tough, man? He it's barely tough. beat a man's fourth week. And, and if he was really that great, he would have did over 150. Like, 130 cool, but, like, if he was really that great, he would have showed up like Uzi and them. Uzi do 200, right? Uzi yeah. had mad features. Did What What does uh what does Lil Baby show up with? Lil Baby show up, like, 197? Like, if that nigga was really one of them Nah, niggas, see, here's the thing. Lil Baby... He's supposed to be... This look, nigga, young boy, supposed to be a, a, a charting and selling god, right? But he can't even get what J. Cole do. Young boy did that with no features. Lil Baby had every industry artist on his album. Uzi had the same thing. And Uzi only did 200 care, whatever he did. But I don't care about Because he took three years off. The, I don't care about He the, took three years. Everybody was waiting on EA, bro. I don't care about the, Uzi, bro. I don't care about the features debate just because niggas going to listen if they want to listen yes or no. No, features help, bro. We just no. we just talked about how Meek Mill added Drake being not being added. Yeah, He's not even Drake. 100K. It's fucking Drake, but like... Nobody's gonna like 
go back. Oh yeah, Young Thug's on this whole. I got. I must hear Bro, this album. Features, features, <laughs> features. I get artists. you guys love Young Thug, but nobody's going. Oh, Young Thug's on this album. Yes, I must hear are. this that, shit. That's what people. Like, that's exactly what people are doing, bro. New artists get yeah. features on their projects. That's how they get more attention. No niggas are not. Niggas are not. Yo, Young Thug on this. So I gotta hear it now. <laughs> like, it's the truth, bro. Maybe for like Drake or J Cole, but like, this nigga, little baby, had what Uzi on his album. He had Money Bag Yo on his album. Like, bro, features are a cheat niggas. code, fam. They are a cheat code. They are. They help you. They they help you boost yourself. I don't. I don't. I don't subscribe. And then on top of that, so so so. Uh, on top explain, of that, explain J Cole like going platinum plenty times without features. J Cole's a top and, three. Selling, J Cole's a top three artist, bro. Yeah. How does he sell so much without features? Then he's a top three artist, bro. I'm not subscribing to the thought he's, that you. He's need a top features. three selling artist. I mean, that's game. my whole point. I don't think that you need features to sell great. Like that's I'm not. Like come on. I'm saying you comparing J Cole to the rest of the game. That's the top. Th- he don't. Need well, you the one. Y'all, y'all want to tell me why be better than everybody? Y'all yeah. the one tell me that he's the best streaming artist since Drake. If he's the best streaming artist since Drake, why can't he get over to 150? I, 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 I just think YB go hard. But personally, I think it's impressive, bro. No features. He didn't even post the album. He don't even have Instagram. Like I'm not he, he did one. I'm not impressed bro. by anything over one under 150. If it's hey. under one fifty, I'm not impressed. Now that was some good numbers. I would agree. It's imagine if stuff. imagine if he did it's more than future. Imagine if he did. The point is, imagine if he did everything that all these other rappers did. What he what would he do? Like he he he, he can't line. even promote his album, bro. He just did one thirty. Probably like a no promotion. Probably one fifty flat. That's probably what he would do. No, this is career highest though. This is career highest. If you know, you're asking me what would he do? He would probably do one fifty flat. I'm saying one th- as one thirty. That's the new he high. Would, so. He would jump probably twenty k. He would jump up. 20K so do you think? Do, so before this album, would you have predicted that his sales would have went up or down? Before this album, yeah, I've already said down because I'm a hater. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a true. I'm a fucking hater. So so, I'm so he over he over exceeded your expectations, right? No, no. What I actually what I I don't know if I texted you, but I know I definitely said it in a group chat. I said anything under one fifty is not spectacular before he even dropped. But you expected Before. him not to do his highest, though. I don't even know what his highest is. What is it, 115? I think it's like... I don't, even, I don't even think it's 115. What is it, 85? I think it's like 100 like type shit. But 130 is better than Future. I'll give him that. It's better than Young Thug. It's better than all these people that people and call And they got goats. features all through their it's, albums. It's better than people that other people call goats. But under 150 is just not spectacular. And I'm not going to treat it like it's that. I'm sorry. It's good. It's straight. It's straight numbers. Bro. No, it is straight. No, it's straight. I'm not denying that. It's straight. Shitting on Young Thug. I'm just. I'm just saying, like Young Thug can't do one thirty seven. Really, I'm just saying you can't really compare this nigga because he like he's just different. Like you can compare like, anything as long as they're making hip hop music. No industry. Not industry, bro. These are all these other artists got pushes, bro. They got other artists posting their shit. They're posting their shit. They doing interviews. They doing everything to promote their album. Once you this nigga, you this nigga be, just gonna, dropped the shit, bro. One thirty. Once you mainstream, you gonna be looked at as industry. I get what you're saying that he's not industry because he doesn't get the award shows and all that. Shit. I didn't even say awards. I'm just saying the support bro i'm just saying well, i can see i'm why. saying the music industry he he ain't doing nothing he ain't doing he ain't I was, the I, industry i can't remember the last interview he did i don't i wouldn't care so i can't either but um once you once you make it mainstream people are going to view it view you as industry or you inside the industry at least yeah, he nah, nah, not if they, not if the industry doesn't fuck with you no not really yeah, I mean, we're talking about casuals. We talking about? Yes. Are you talking about the fans? Like, you I'm that. talking about overall fans. Yes, the casuals, which is majority of fans, are casuals, his, and his fans showing. They're up. not going. To, I'm not saying his fans. I'm saying hip hop fans in general. All right. Majority of hip hop fans in general are fucking casuals. They're going to under. They're going to look at it like he. As long as you're mainstream, they're going to look at you like you're in the industry. They might not understand that he doesn't get no industry help. He doesn't get no industry awards. They don't understand but, the facts about music. That's what you said. Yeah, it is what I'm saying. They're fucking bro, casual. We can't speak on them, bro. We gotta talk about what we I'm know. We, casual, we know this shit. We got we gotta speak smarter. Smarter. A casual, than that. a casual is not gonna understand that he's not industry with by you just saying they don't they don't post this shit like that. That's, but but we we talking about like what's really going on. Like we not casuals. That's what I'm saying. Like I, but we I'm talking about the music. The like majority for real. audience are casuals though. That's what we expect to be. And that's why we shit. explaining it to them. Like that's why I'm explaining it to them. Like why that's impressive that he did one thirty. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like 
I'm talking to the casuals. Okay. They might not know that, but I'm trying to, that's why we're having this conversation. That's just not impressive, but yeah, go ahead. It is, bro. You just hate it. You just hate them. Anything just, under just 150. Keep it up, bro. I, I will be hating, but anything under 150 is not impressive. Me can't finish do that. And he's, would you say he's I a big said, artist? I said that. I but, said Young Thug could do I'm that. I'm saying, would you say he's a big I artist? I said Future couldn't do that. He's the GOAT. Okay. That's... I said that these people can't do that, but I'm just saying. Anything under 150 is not impressive. N- but niggas I ain't... I live in a day where that nigga just did 600. Bro, like, you, can you name five artists that sells over 150? Can you name five rap yes. artists right now that sells over 150? Yes. And you can't just be like, can't just be like 2020, but these are people that rap right now. All right. Travis Scott. Travis Scott. J. Cole. That was 2018, Travis Scott. Stop what? it. Stop it. What I just say? What I just J- say? What what? Okay, okay. I'll give you Travis. I'll Travis Scott. Travis. Okay. J. Cole. 185, though. J. Cole. J. Cole, top three rapper. He just did 185. No, I thought he did 280. Okay, 280. Okay. Yeah, was it yeah, 280? Okay, yeah, okay, 280. It was a 100K drop, but he did 280. Okay. So, Travis Scott, J. Cole, Lil Uzi. Yes. He did 200K. That was, okay, twice. we got to see he what that twice. next album do. We got to see it twice. We got to see what that next album do, though, because that future in, that future shit did not do 150. But his album himself, both of them did. The did EA had a lot One of, of them. EA had a lot of anticipation. One of them did 218, the other one did like 223. They both did 200. And, so nah, on. I think the deluxe did like one, but I give you that. I give you Uzi. I give you Uzi. Lil Baby, that's four. Drake, it's five. <laughs> you just All told right. me you name five. I, mean, I told you name five. That's cool, but like <laughs> that's a handful. That's a handful, bro. Like, Everybody's not doing that. I agree. Everybody's not doing. Everybody's that. not doing that. Everybody's not doing that. I agree. We got Kodak doing. That's I'm my boy. We got him doing twenty k. I'm just saying, your boy needs to retire. 20K. Nah, my boy good. Twenty k. Yeah, he's good, bro. If he can't do over 40K next time, he has to retire, bro. He should just call it off. Hey, man. Call it off. It's, it's, that's the white folks, man. They, you know. So who's your underrated? Uh, an underrated rapper right now, Meek Mill. Like I said, Come on, bro. Niggas fuck with Meek Mill. No, nobody's calling Meek Mill the best rapper. Bro, right I've right seen people dig around that all week, bro. There, there's nobody calling Meek Mill the best rapper on earth. He's not the best rapper. But, I mean... Once you top five, you could be considered. Meek top five? Meek is a legend, bro. Top five right now? Not right now. <laughs> Meek is a fucking legend. He probably has top five catalog. Top five of his generation? He probably has top five catalog of this generation. I'll, I'll give him top five out of his generation. about their class. whole catalog, the albums that they put together. He probably has top five catalog. I'm not even joking. Like, I'm not bullshit. Uh, I can't go for that. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, all the Dream Chasers, fucking championships. Winning losses and then this new shit. He has some. He has a good, a solid. That catalog. shit. That shit. Cool. If we putting everybody's catalog compared to each other. Top is, five. Probably top seven. Top seven. Yeah, bro. I'm not even putting him in my ten. Well, if you put Young Thug, in bro, your what does team, he have other than the fucking intro? Thug, what does he? If have? you put Young Thug in your ten and you don't put Meek Mill, I wouldn't even nine. put Thug in my ten. All right, good. Okay. But Meek ain't in my ten. Meek what he got other than intro? Thug got know, way more than that. He has albums that are great. He puts bo- great bodies of work together. That's all I'm talking about. I'm not Name talking five Meek Mill bangers. We're talking. You're talking about songs. I'm talking about bodies of work. <laughs> like bodies of work. Ain't, what, what, what album do he got other than championships? That's just uh, that's just hard. Cause you you talking three? mixtapes, bro. Dream Chaser three, right? Well, that's a body. We're of work. talking albums, bro. Uh, that's a body of work, though, right? Is a mixtape a body of work? Yes or no? Okay, so we talking so, bodies bodies of work. I mean whole catalog. Dream, I, I, I'm not really a fan of none of the Dream Chaser shit, personally. You're tweaking. Like, well, you're not a fan of Just because you spitting, like, that don't mean nothing. What? Like, just because you spitting. <laughs> just because you can rap hard, that don't mean shit. That don't, make the, that don't make it good. Like, that don't make the songs good just because you spitting, bro. Like, Hobson, a good rapper. Don't nobody listen to no, that, that's, nigga. This, that's different, bro. Hobson is just lyrical miracle. MF Doom, that was a good art lyric. Like, nobody. Come on, bro. Like, that, just because you can spit, that don't, that don't mean nothing, bro. I mean, who who really finna bump movie. Meek? If Meek ain't got a feature, like who's really finna listen to that shit, bro? I, I sound like academics. At least ninety k people, huh? At least ninety k people. Eighty nine k, top ten 89. rapper, top five, top seven rapper. Yeah, uh, as far as catalog, yeah. Big That's, Sean ain't even. Going we're not out. talking about numbers though. Big Sean ain't even going out like that. I don't think we're talking numbers though. I think we're talking catalog. Like, I don't think his catalog all that. I, I think his numbers better than his catalog championships. I mean, that whole so what two hundred k. I don't know what that sold. I'd be surprised if that whole sell. If that whole sold two hundred k, then I'm gonna add him to my list of artists. I'll say his about. his sales are better than his catalog, but I, I mean I I, I I fuck with Meek though. I fuck with Meek. No, but, you don't. But top ten, that's <laughs> outrageous, bro. No, you the catalog of people that are rapping right now. Yeah, top ten catalog. That's still outrageous, bro. You got Drake, 
You hell, you can yeah, even. I would put Uzi's Drake. catalog over Meek. I wouldn't, but I mean Drake. I'll put see. Future's catalog over Meek. I could see Future. Or I wouldn't see. If we talking catalog, I, w- I would actually put Thug over him. If we talking catalog, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I I'll, would not. I'll put Gunna. I never. I Cardi. Never like, it's so many niggas. I would not think of Playboy Cardi over over Meek Mill. Jay Z, nigga. Kanye, like. Uh, does Jay Z does Jay Z count? Catalog, yes. Does, is he dropping? Like his last time he dropped was like what? Twenty sixteen. How many misses does he have? Album one. Last time he dropped was like twenty sixteen, right? Like, we just talking catalogs, bro. How, how do... We talking about catalog of people right now, though. Oh, I just I just named like seven people. I'm putting before him anyway. Before I even got to Jay. Well, yeah, I don't agree yay. with most of them people. Yay with Donda included. I would agree with. Well, yay, kinda, but no, cause like his last four is just trash. But we only talking about his first four. Then fuck yes, yeah, slaps that boy. Drake, yes. Future, yes. Anybody else you name is just bullshit. I don't even think he's the best out of his freshman class, bro. Catalog wise, I believe he probably is. Who's in that class? Big Crit. Fuck no. Mac Miller. Fuck no. Kendrick Lamar. F- fuck no. Kendrick Lamar. He's his shit not better than Kendrick. His shit is better than Kendrick. You talking about to pimp a butterfly? Bro, that's bro. one. That's one miss, bro. Wait, this, this nigga we got, got like. Untitled. This nigga we got like untitled? three. He has a whole album called Untitled, and all the songs are untitled. All the all the songs. That is a, a full body of work. That's a mixtape. That is a full body of work. Like, stop playing, bro. Plus, I don't bro. think that counts, bro. Stop. I don't Come think on. That counts, stop, bro. bro. That is a whole body of work. Stop it. <laughs> so, does the uh, MMG album count towards with me? Bro, this is his one solo body of work. Bro, that shit this was like leaks. Kend- that shit was like is, leaks, bro. bro he That's why I count Care Package, bro. Listen, bro, it's on Apple Music. This is Kendrick Lamar. He dropped it. He dropped it. And it's just him. It ain't. It ain't I, like, I'm bro, taking Good Kid Mad it. City over anything he dropped. I'm taking Good Kid Mad City. I would say, I mean, yeah. Yeah. But not Section 8. Not to Section, a 8, Section 8, probably. Not too. over dedicated. Which I like the oh, Section 8 and overly dedicated. But Spiffer Butterfly is ass. The Untitled shit is ass. Damn is okay. Like, oh, I'm going with Meek over Kendrick. Like, if you're talking catalog. Not individual songs, not sales, just right, overall body of work. You're taking a rally on the wrist raps? Yep, I'm taking the rally on the wrist raps, <laughs> rapping about being with billionaires. Fucking Robert Kraft and shit, white men and, and shit. And fucking bad bitches. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. Yes, I am. I gotta take right. Kendrick on that, but I feel you. So the next, uh, Boosie uh, released a lackluster biopic. Who do you want to see You know, create a biopic next? I ain't gonna lie, I need that King Von bi- biopic. <laughs> <laughs> what, nigga? Nigga's, nigga's evil. What are you laughing about, bro? What's wrong with this nigga, bro? <laughs> no, nigga, what's wrong with you? Like, why King Von of all people? Like? Oh, yeah, bro, he really lived his raps. Like, I wanna hear about. I wanna hear about. <laughs> The movie, nigga, the fuck out of here. Yes. This nigga has six bodies. You heard him. I want, I want to see this life, bro. bro. you're the real menace, bro. Like, bro, I'm dead ass. I have all rappers. All right, go. Finish it. Bro, bro. I want to hear a King Von. I want to see a King Von movie. This man had a crazy life. This man was in jail. He was fighting murder cases. Like, bro, he became a fucking millionaire rapper. What are we talking about? That's crazy, man. I want to see how that story, you know. Because of his cousin. What? He became a millionaire rapper. That's not his cousin, bro. You talking about Dirk? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not his cousin. That's I mean, friend. I'll see a Dirk movie. That's I had Dirk friend. on here, too. That's his best friend. His, yeah, his brother. He said his brother. So his best friend in life. So he made it to the rap game because of his best friend in life. And, and King Von, and let me get some. I think he made it because of his talent because Dirk got a whole roster of his homies. Them niggas ain't do, they ain't did no, shit. I agree with talent, too, because uh, King Von is the best dead rapper of all time. Uh, that died prematurely, my memory. He's the best rapper of all time that died prematurely. Hey man, if you heard uh Nick's crazy about, story, bro. Nigga be talking, talking about this little Snoop nigga. Nigga be talking about this this speaker knockers nigga. Nigga be talking about that Tupac nigga. At rapping is key ball. Nah, uh crazy story is hard as hell. I wouldn't mind a Chief Keep documentary either. I feel like that's pretty be pretty inspiring. <laughs> I, I feel like that'd be pretty inspiring, you know. Can't get to see what Sosa was on. For the bro, deal, people just go to Chirac. Like, you just like, yes, those are the real, those are realest rappers, bro. Those, they, they're really out here bro, catching bro, bodies, bro. catching help sides. Like, what are you talking about? What you want to see? A nigga like what? Bow wow, shit, boring. 
shit's okay, boring. Wow. Shit is boring, bro. J. My Cole, dream. so we can hear about wet dreams and shit. Wet dreams. <laughs> College bro, and shit. Bro, is it my turn? Is it my turn? <laughs> Do your thing, man. Do your thing. All bro. right. A biopic that I would love to see is either a Cash Money Hot Boys biopic or a No Limit uh, Master P biopic. That was like the only like Ma- Master, Master P got one, I think. He already has one? Yeah. Well, Cash Money, uh, Hot Boy. Oh, no, he working on it. He working on it. Must be working on well, it. Well, th- those are the two. Those, like, the only, like... Have you ever seen Baller Blocking? What? Have you seen Baller Blocking? What is that? It's like a Cash Money movie, kind of. It was like, they made it, like, when they first kind of blew up. It's oh. like, got all of them in there. But, sh- bro, shit's hilarious, bro. Wayne in that hoe. I'll right, check that out. Bro, that shit is hilarious. You're gonna be dying, like... <laughs> you, it's so ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Like Birdman's Sounds like ridiculous. the main character. His name is like Beatrice in it. Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Beatrice. Beatrice. Like, I see like, why he went with Birdman. It's just unnecessary murders. Just bro, the movie's ridiculous, bro. You gotta watch it in your spare time. Sounds ridiculous. I would love to see a. Uh, I'm still waiting. You just reminded me though, Master P. I, he he said he's working on his uh his movie. He said Bow Wow. Hey, I wouldn't mind a Jay Z movie. I want to see. He lost what the sixty two bricks. The 62 bricks when he stabbed that nigga. Uh, he shoot his brother. He shot his brother. He cheated on Beyonce. This was to be a good movie. The uh, elevator fight. Yeah, I think I think Jay Z's movie would be better than Notorious. Haki, Twenty One Savage. What was Twenty One Savage? Oh, he killed somebody. Oh, I just oh, I'm okay. just want to hear all I the. I thought you were talking about Jay Z still. Like, uh, the baby at that point. The baby Walmart and shit. Nigga at Walmart. You just want to see niggas get shot. The, uh, you just want to see niggas get shot. Hey, I, you know I just like the. I just want to see a whole. Story I, I don't want to see. I don't care for the push. I see one though. He didn't kill nobody, so. <laughs> bro, you gotta have death in so movies. Nigga, you you gotta have death in movies, bro. Take the take, bro. The take K movie. <laughs> Yo, you might be on to something. You might be on to something, bro. You might. Hey, I can get, I can get somebody to play. All right, game. non-violent, non-violent. What would you, who who would you say? I already did my non-violent. All right, well, okay, non-violent. Uh, Soldier Boy. <laughs> so I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. That goofy is bad. <laughs> nigga did a burst with bro. Bow. He's the first nigga to do a lot of shit, bro. He's just gonna be doing all the first shit on that. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna discover America. Nigga, get the light bulb. Nigga, ah, get the uh, peanut butter. Like, first nigga to make an air conditioner. He gonna make a car. Why like, he gonna be the first nigga to literally get me out of here, bro? I can't. He was the first rapper to see the Boosie movie since we bringing it full circle. Bro, you tweaking, bro. <laughs> you are tweaking. 